and welcome back to Shop with Imo. I need to do my Christmas shop today for my perishable items for the Christmas Day dinner. And a couple of gift items as well. I forgot to buy somebody a present. It's two days before Christmas and it's Saturday. And I like to not go shopping on Saturdays because it's more crowded and it's nearly Christmas. So I have a cunning plan. I'm gonna probably spread my shop over a few shops depending on what I can get in them. So I'm gonna start off with a little little, a little little. <laughs> Quite often that's the one that's not crowded like when it was the pandemic that was the one that was relatively empty while everything else was absolutely even with all the queues do you remember the queues anyway I'm gonna go there first with my list I'm gonna get everything I can fit in my trolley and everything that I can from there but I think I'm gonna need to go to a big Lidl's with a wider range to get everything on my list so I'll start with the one now if it's super super crowded I'll film what I can but I'll do a haul of that section when I get back and likewise with the other one as well so wish me luck let's let's see what we can get well car park is virtually empty and it looks pretty quiet in there I think I've made a good call let's get that trolley on there I love this about the little trolleys I think they're well designed on the whole but in we go one wet umbrella going in Wowie, if you're watching from abroad and you've been impressed with our UK prices before, you're gonna just be astonished now. 15 pence for a kilo of carrots, 15 pence for sprouts, 15 pence for parsnips, potatoes, shallots, swede, all 15 pence. I can't believe it. Parsnips are on my list, 15 pence. Thank you, Santa of Lidl, Lidl Santa. Right, carrots, okay. That's a lot more carrots than I want to buy, but 15 pence. We'll, we'll find a way to use them up. <laughs> I want sprouts. I was hoping for a sprout tree because I think they're so much nicer. But 15 pence. I mean, come on. Yep, going in. This is going to be a cheap Christmas dinner shop. What else is on my list? I didn't have any potatoes on my list because I've got potatoes at home already. Okay, well, that was a blooming good start, wasn't it? Blimey. Look how empty it is, isn't it? Seriously. This is the Lidl's to go to. This spinach is reduced down to 56 pence. I'm going to get that for myself. Nobody else I know likes spinach. I think my boyfriend likes it, but he's not coming to dinner anytime soon. I'm going to get some broccoli from my mummy. That's 96 pence. Looks fine, I think. Yes, it does. I thought that was mould. It's condensation. Time to look at my list. I tell you what, it doesn't half make my shopping quick if I put it in sections. Right, carrots, broccoli, collie. That's it. I don't see any collie, though. I think collie may end up being outstanding on my list. Oh dear. I would like to buy some jarred olives for my daughter and I. I'm not thinking beyond sort of Christmas day, really. I'm not like trying to stock up for the 12 days or anything, because I can pop out again. You know, I've got plenty of local shops. That was 75 pence for that. So that'll do me and my daughter for the evening tea. Oh, this wasn't on my Christmas list. The sweet original, you see the unsweetened? Curdles in coffee. This doesn't doesn't and they, they didn't have it for ages it's 99 pence it's much much cheaper than the alpro equivalent so i am going to get a couple of those in fact i'm tempted to get three i can't load my trolley up too much with it because i need to prioritize christmas shopping you know but let's get three tell number one please that oat barista is rather good in coffee as well. That's £1.39. I've had a bit too much oat lately. I just, I'll need a break from oat. I got a bit saturated. Having looked at the price of the Coke Zero or the Diet Coke, 4 25 I'm just thinking, might be a good time to try the Freeway Cola Max at one sixty-five for six. Come to the mall. Oh. Let's see what this is like, see if it's worth getting. Sometimes I think it's just worth getting used to the taste. And once you're acclimatised to it, it tastes just as good. Like, I think a lot of how much you like something or otherwise depends on how you expect it to taste. And then if it varies from how you expected it to taste, it can taste horrible. Like, sometimes I even get it if I'm expecting it to be a cup of tea and it's coffee or vice versa. I'm like, yeah, with that first mouthful. And then I quickly, like, change my expectation. And then, like, of course, it's fine. So it's just tea or coffee. It's weird. Anyway, so let's see how we get on with that other brand. I'm deviating from my list again. I certainly didn't come in for beer glass shaped pasta pieces, but given that there's 49% off and they're down from 99 pence to 50 pence, I think we're going to get a packet. You know, I think my boyfriend might appreciate that in one meal. I'm contemplating the Fox's chocolatey biscuits, 365 grams for 3.99. I mean, it is a lot of money for the amount of actual biscuit you get. 
but it is Christmas and I always think how nice they look every year and I always like buy them as a present for somebody every year oh I think we're gonna actually splash out this year for our own household like enough of them round on Christmas day when we're doing presents you know with the cups of tea right it's going in I completely forgot to put it on the list but my daughter requested Yorkshire puddings and she said just the cheap shop's own is fine because like I never eat them ever but she's been having them at uni she really likes them so I'll just get these they're 46 pence well that is 15 of them there we are completely forgot about those I'm glad I spotted them because I probably would have forgotten them I think the spinach is going to go on the top because it's going to get squished and I don't want it by the frozen thing either because it'll probably I don't know start turning to a mush look how is this two days before Christmas this is ridiculous but it's blooming brilliant if you're a vlogger because I can vlog without people staring at me oh here comes somebody now I'm thinking this might be a good time to have a look for some Christmas gifts for somebody that I have yet to buy for I'm wondering if they might like some dates you know fancy dates I've decided I am gonna buy these as a present and they're $3.99 a box and there's somebody else I thought of who might like a box as well Oh no, I've just had a horrible realisation. This is awkward. I've just remembered the person I was buying this for has been diagnosed with diabetes. These are so sugary. They're going to have to go back. Oops. This is a bit of an annual Christmas present I get for someone every year who rather likes that. 179 for that marzipan log with dark chocolate. Do you know what? I was just giving up hope on getting this present for my family member that I'm still to buy for. And I spotted these heat-changing mugs. Now, this particular person is fascinated by maps and he loves pouring over them for hours and he also enjoys hot drinks, especially coffee. Look at this one. The change it is when it's cold, it's black. And then it, it comes and shows his place in the world. I think that's very novel and lovely. So I'm going to get him one of that. They've also got a consolation one. Because I'm a bit desperate, I'm going to get one of each. I do think the novelty sprout mug is amusing for 3 49 However, I don't think he's going to like it. So I'm going to get these two. And um, I think that's a jolly good start with that one. I just don't know what nibbles to get now. I'll have to have a little think. I am denied about the LED party light for £4.99 and decided against it. I don't think he'll like it or use it. I need one of these oral bead toothbrushes because mine, like this bit here, has got a hole in it now and I'm a bit worried about the electricity and the water mixing. I can't see how much that is though, I don't see a price. I'll get one in the new year I think. For my daughter I'm going to buy some of this for our sort of Christmas tea, you know, not Christmas dinner but after everyone's gone home. Because we don't have leftover cold meat we have a vegetarian dinner. So, well it's not going to be, my dad's going to bring some meat but there won't be leftovers I don't suppose so. Sorry about all the announcements. <laughs> I'm going to get that and I want to get her another sort as well so she's got like a little variety to kind of mimic the traditional picky tea you know that you would normally have rather tantalizingly these are all reduced but I need to have a good long date so that's no good to me on this occasion can't find anything that doesn't look ultra ultra processed and oh, horrible but these drumsticks are two pound nine look so I think she likes those they got a good date on them, 28th of December, so let's go for that and she can eat them over subsequent meals as well. I'm going to pick up some Kaus Kumbraig, some Welsh cheese. This is £2.89. Oh no, no, this is two forty nine as well. A great big block like that of 400 grams, so I'm going to get some of that. I've got plenty in the fridge, but I've got a feeling, you know, Christmas Day I might be grating cheese and things to add to the mashed potatoes. I'm also going to pick up a halloumi, £2.15, because I want to replace the one I used up yesterday. Now we're on to the Christmassy sort of special deluxe section. Now I wanted a sharing pie because I had a really, a really, really nice one from Lidl recently. And I thought that was so nice. I would actually give it to my dad and myself and my daughter for Christmas dinner. My mum's got her own special dietary requirements. So she's going to eat all the vegetables and she's going to bring something herself. She's quite adamant that's what she'd prefer to do. And it does save me having to worry about that. So, oh, I'm going to have a rummage and I'll get back to you. Decision made, I'm going to get two of these. And one of those, though, I might not use that for Christmas Day. I might have that on another day. And I've forgotten to put veggie sausages on my list because I just fancied them myself as part of the Christmas dinner. I don't know if they sell them in this little. Anyway, I'm going to get myself some of this lovely, delicious goat's cheese, which is £1.99. And I'm going to get a camembert as well. My daughter will love the camembert. Nobody's really going to be eating much cheese except for me, probably. So just a token bit. I'm going to buy a great big thing of cream because I might try and be ambitious and make a trifle this year. 
because my daughter would like trifle for afters and if, yeah I'm going to try and make one and I think it's going to be a sponge free trifle I'm going to use mandarin segments so I was looking up a recipe a cheaty easy recipe online with ready made custard I already have ready made custard I had a previous plan that I've changed I've modified it to be a trifle so I need jelly see I'm vegetarian and I don't eat gelatine if I can help it so I don't know if I can get any vegetarian jelly what about this is this jelly sugar free well I don't think people are going to like the sugar free one oh is that sugar free up there yeah 99p mm, is it vegetarian no so on the front wouldn't it pork gelatine no it's not vegetarian see like the packet trifles are vegetarian so I'm wondering whether to get a packet trifle and then kind of augment it and do proper cream and add some fruit to it as well so let's see if we can find packet trifle squirty cream that's on my list I'm thinking we don't need to go to the other big little which is ages away took me ages to get there so I'm quite pleased about that I think any toppy up bits now I might be able to get from Tesco's might be able to brave it I'm not going to get these now because of my limited freezer space but I really love these cheese and onion bakes I think they're like an imitation of the Greg's ones I have said it before they are so lush £1.35 for two so oh so good okay so there's just a few more bits I need so I'll try those from Tesco's but I'll take these home first and then I'll head back out because I think that's going to absolutely fill that trolley up well, I estimated that pretty well. Look, couldn't have fitted much more in there, could I? I'm going to get that unpacked and all put away and then I'm going to head to Tesco. Well, I'm in Tesco, a lot busier in here. Looks like we've got a bit of a price war going on. 15 pence in here as well with a club card or 95 without. All the same sorts of things as we had in the middle. I see broccoli. Oh, don't tell me I could have had broccoli for 15p. I could have, look. Oh my goodness. But do you know what? That's absolutely fine. I don't mind paying the full price for it. 24 cans of Pepsi Max or £7 with the club card, but I couldn't carry that home. So I'm not going to get it. I would otherwise. I've just popped into the quieter aisles, the non-food aisles, just for a minute to get some inspiration for that Christmas present, the last minute one. I want to get more than just those mugs. They've got lovely diaries for £4, actually. Look like good quality. I think I'll stick with the one I've got now. I was thinking of upgrading. I wonder how thick these are. It's the thickness of the pages because I love to write in fountain pen, you see. And the bleeds that are. Oh, now, this seems quite thick, actually. I think that's enough space for me. Do you know what? I'm seriously tempted to buy myself one of these. I don't really like the design. It's a bit girly for me. But I do like the thickness of the pages. Or do I? Oh, I don't know. I'm not convinced it won't bleed through. I'm going to leave it. But they're nice, aren't they? Lovely selection of diaries. I think more last minute impulsive present buying is about to happen. Look at this lovely National Trust calendar for four pound. These lovely garden pictures. There's somebody who doesn't watch this channel who's going to get this. I've just been given a nice chalky by Reese, a viewer of the channel. So hello to you if you're watching. That was very kind of you. I have got these as my presents that I was going to get. Just a plain notebook, some lovely multicolored pens well pens of different colours and some watercolour paints because this person is artistic so hopefully they'll like that. Right, I'm going to enjoy this now and carry on with my food shopping. It is the season to run out of cauliflower apparently. I can't find any in here either unless I'm looking in the wrong place. I've just been back around the front of the store again seeing if they had any beans or something, green beans for an extra veg but there wasn't. To be honest I've got enough. My parents do not eat much. Oh we've got beans here, 85p. Yeah let's get these. They look all right. I love those. There we are. I'm just wondering if my family would disown me if I got them a reduced clear trifle for Christmas afters. But look, it says 26th of December. It'll still be in date. <laughs> it looks all right. The temptation is very real, you know. And my hand seems to have just grabbed it. It's just thinking of all those hours I could save. I'm sure I can use the cream for something else. I'm not 100% sure if that'll be enough. I'm going to get a strawberry one as well. There we are. That's dessert sorted saves all that looking everywhere for vegetarian jelly you see they're both vegetarian oh yeah my parents are as thrifty as me though they won't mind i'm in my favorite section look 67p for all that milk oh, i'm just gonna have it for my coffee i'm gonna grab myself some of these corn slices they are two pounds 60 they're the vegetarian ones not the vegan ones it's to have with my daughter when she's having her cold meats in the evening on christmas evening you know and I'm tempted as a bit of a treat to try these veg arami. They're 175. I'd never normally justify the expense of a little tiny thing like that, but we could have one each, you know. Yum yum. 
Right, that's that sorted. I'm looking for the veggie sausages. I just fancy the Richmond meat-free sausages to have on the side with my Christmas dinner and anyone else who wants them can have them, but I don't know if everybody else will. It'd be something nice for me. Got them, £2.40 for those. There's not a lot left on my list now. When I got home, I realised we were almost out of loo rolls, so I put that on the list. And I want to get some Swiss roll for my daughter because she just doesn't like Stollen. So that's an alternative cake she can have. Do you know, I think I'm going to buy these Plant Chef mince pies. They're £1.50, so they're vegan. Mind you, I don't need vegan ones, do I? Nobody's vegan. I was thinking I need veggie ones. What are these ones? Normal mince pies, they're £1.09, so they're a bit cheaper than the vegan ones. Just see if they're vegetarian. It's suitable for vegetarians. There we are. Yeah. Oh, they've got icing on those ones. Mr. Kipling's are £1.50. These ones are, oh, they're the £1.09 ones. Oh, they're all £1.09. I don't know. Let's get the conventional ones. I wanted to get the Greg's ones tomorrow so that they should still be fresh, but I don't know if Greg's is going to be open tomorrow. So this kind of takes that out of the equation, doesn't it? So that's done then. Right, now this is very boring, but my daughter only likes Swiss roll, really, when it comes to this sort of thing. Uh, I don't know whether to get strawberry and clotted cream. That sounds really nice to me. Or double chocolate Swiss roll. They're both £1.40. Just have a quick ingredients check to see if she's going to be allergic to it. I think she'll be all right with that. Yeah, let's get that. Last thing, toilet roll, then I'm out of here. Right, toilet roll, £3.15 for those. I do believe. Right. That's going in, and I told a lie about the last thing. There's one more thing I've just remembered, and that is beer. Oh, I wonder if my parents want wine with Christmas dinner. I forget about that. I would never want wine with Christmas dinner. I'd never want wine ever. Right, better get them a bottle of wine. Gosh, I nearly forgot that. They'll probably bring one, to be honest, because that's just kind of what people do. They come with wine. Right, alcohol then. San Miguel for me. That's £5.25 for four. There's just a sea of wines to choose from, and I don't even drink wine. So I have no idea what to get. Mm. No idea if it's any good. Blossom Hill. I'm just going to get them that. It's mm, 5.75. Hopefully that's all right. That is definitely it. I'm going home. I'm back. I'm back from the shops. I've done it. I've finished all my Christmas food shopping. So the total Lidl bill came to £49.93, but do remember it had some presents in it. The total of all the presents came to £11.26, so when you take that off it leaves £38.67 from Lidl. Now the total Tesco bill came to £41.56, but again, a portion of that were presents. And the presents portion was £11.85, so that left £29.71. So the grand total for both the food shops without the presents was £68.38. And, and to be honest, it wasn't a bad experience. I went later in the day. As you saw, the first Lidl's was like practically empty. It was like a ghost town. <laughs> Hardly anybody there at all. And Tesco's wasn't too bad. It was crowded. It was more crowded than usual, but it wasn't too bad. And given it was a Saturday right before Christmas, I thought I got off pretty lightly, to be perfectly honest with you. Anyway, I hope you've had a lovely Christmas, because I know this will have gone up after Christmas is over. But anyway, thank you so much for watching it. Do feel free to give it a like if you haven't yet liked it. Hit the subscribe button if you'd like to find my videos on your subscription feed. <laughs> and hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload. I've also got a day in the life vlogging channel called Planet emo so I'll link that as well up on the end screen and in the description below if you'd like to check that out. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!